do you see all technology in that way? So basically well, technology helps us appreciate the more sort of technology free aspect of life. Well, media technology, you know, I mean, I, 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 you can stretch that. I mean, you can, let me say, I could definitely play McLuhan and turn this into a general theory. Mm -hmm. It's totally doable. The program you just described is totally doable. Um, in fact, I will psychically predict that if you did the research, you could find 20 PhD theses that do that already. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, but they might exist. But um, I, I don't know how much value it, there is in pushing um, a particular idea that far. Claiming that reality isn't a computer in some sense seems incoherent to me because mm -hmm. we have... We can program it. We have technology. It has, it seems to obey physical laws. What more do you want from it to be a computer? I mean, it's a computer of some kind. We don't know exactly what kind. We might not know how to think about it. We're working on it, but. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but you're absolutely right. Like that's my fascination with the AI as well, is it uh, helps in the case of AI, I see it as, a, as a set of techniques that help us understand ourselves, understand us humans. In the same way, virtual reality and you're putting it brilliantly, which it's a, it's a way to help us understand reality. Uh, sure. Appreciate and open our eyes more richly to reality. That's how, that's certainly how I see it. And I, I, I wish people who become incredibly fascinated, who go down the rabbit hole of uh, the different fascinations with whether we're in a simulation or not, or, you know, that there's a whole world of variations on that. Um, I wish they'd step back and think about their own motivations and exactly what they mean. You know what? Yeah. And and I think the danger with these things is, um, it, so if you say is the universe some kind of computer broadly, it has to be because it's not coherent to say the the, the uh, that it isn't. On the other hand, to say that that means you know anything about what kind of computer, mm -hmm. that's something very different. And the same thing is true for the brain. The same thing is true for anything where you might use computational metaphors. Like we have to have a bit of modesty about where we stand. And the, the problem I have with these framings of computation as these ultimate cosmic questions is that it has a way of getting people to pretend they know more than they do. 